What makes Cleopatra VII an enduring enigma that captivates us even after millennia have passed? Step into the annals of history and unearth the mesmerizing tale of Cleopatra VII, a figure whose legacy defies time and convention. Beyond her renowned beauty lies a narrative woven with political intrigue, family turmoil, and alliances that shaped empires. So, what led to the rise of Cleopatra VII amidst the tumultuous backdrop of ancient Egypt? How did her relationships with influential figures like Julius Caesar and Mark Antony alter the course of history? And amidst the enduring mysteries surrounding her final moments, what alternative theories challenge the traditional accounts of her tragic end? Before we delve into Cleopatra's legacy, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot to us, and it helps us create more great content. So without further ado, let's get started. The Early Life In 69 BC, Cleopatra VII was born into a tumultuous era in Egypt, a land with a rich history spanning over 3,000 years. The ruling dynasty, known as the Ptolemaic dynasty, was founded by Ptolemy the Farce Soter, a general from Macedonia who served alongside Alexander the Great. This dynasty ruled Egypt from 305-304 BC to 30 BC. By the time of Cleopatra, Egypt faced the looming threat of Roman invasion. The Ptolemies, who had once ruled benevolently, had become weak and imprudent leaders. Cleopatra's father, Ptolemy XIII, added to the instability, making her early life challenging. Her family witnessed numerous conflicts both within and outside their kingdom, creating a difficult environment for her upbringing. Ptolemy the Fries, his reign was marked by cruelty, and the people of Egypt, resentful of his alliance with Rome, revolted. At the age of four, Cleopatra witnessed a riot in Alexandria that forced her father into exile in Rome. However, the narrative of a simple riot leading to Ptolemy the Tinta's exile oversimplifies the complex reality. His exile was more a result of political maneuvering and his own mismanagement of the kingdom. In his absence, her older sister Berenice ascended to the throne. Upon Ptolemy Suetine's return, a Roman general named Pompey helped him regain the title of Pharaoh. Unfortunately, this led to the execution of Cleopatra's older sister, Berenice. The power struggles among Ptolemy's children intensified as they vied for the throne. Cleopatra's sister, Cleopatra Trifana, died mysteriously, with some historians speculating that one of her siblings might have poisoned her. With Berenice and Cleopatra Trifana gone, Cleopatra found herself with only one surviving sister, the youngest, Arsinoe. The complex dynamics within the Ptolemaic family set the stage for Cleopatra's future struggles and ambitions. As we delve into the next chapter, we'll explore how Arsinoe's presence further influenced the course of Cleopatra's life and the intricate web of familial rivalry that unfolded. Arsinoe IV and Ptolemy, XIII. As Cleopatra confronted the imminent rise of her younger brothers, Ptolemy III and Ptolemy XIV, her fate as the eldest daughter of Ptolemy the Thene hung in the balance. The prospect of marrying her younger brother, Ptolemy the Thene, loomed, filled with both anticipation and anxiety. In 51 BC, Cleopatra, at 18, began her reign alongside Ptolemy Thene, navigating domestic challenges and strained relations with Rome. Unwilling to share the throne, she orchestrated Ptolemy the Thene's removal marking a transformative shift in her journey toward becoming a formidable and independent leader. Sibling rivalry. In a challenging era dominated by the mighty Roman Empire, Cleopatra navigated a precarious political landscape with a focus on realism rather than romanticizing her actions. Acknowledging her inability to rival Rome militarily, she adopted her father's strategy of appeasement, aspiring to secure Egypt's autonomy. However, this diplomatic approach didn't guarantee a smooth reign. Amidst the familial power struggle, her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, supported by influential figures like Gnaeus Pompey, emerged as a significant threat. The year 49 BC marked a critical turning point when Cleopatra fled to Syria after uncovering a plot against her life. The strategic choice of Syria, a region once ruled by the Ptolemies, 
aimed at garnering support and reclaiming her throne. In this tumultuous journey, Cleopatra, accompanied by her sister Arsinoe, adeptly navigated complex political dynamics, showcasing her pragmatic approach in the face of political volatility. Enter Julius Caesar. Amid the unfolding dramas in the Ptolemaic dynasty, a bloody civil war gripped the north. General Julius Caesar clashed with and defeated the forces of General Pompey. Seeking refuge in Pellucidum, Egypt, Pompey aimed to replenish his resources, placing the Egyptian rulers, Ptolemy III and Cleopatra, in a dilemma. Historically, Egypt had received support from Rome due to Cleopatra's father's relationship with Pompey. In pursuit of Pompey and assistance for his military needs, Caesar arrived in Alexandria with a modest force. Despite sensing Caesar's likely victory in Rome, supporting Pompey's war on Egyptian soil risked devastating consequences. Caught in a difficult situation, Ptolemy the Steen ambushed and killed Pompey, delivering his head to Caesar. Cleopatra, now 21, recognized the need for a peace treaty. She navigated past obstacles and communicated her arrival to Caesar, making a lasting impression. While avoiding the common myth of Cleopatra being smuggled in a carpet, debates among historians persist regarding the specifics of their encounters. Historians discuss aspects like the nature of their first meeting and the extent of Cleopatra's influence during this critical period. Some argue for a meticulously planned entrance, showcasing her political acumen. An opposing view suggests a more dramatic scenario, proposing unconventional methods by Cleopatra. The encounter's details remain contested, contributing to ongoing discussions. Despite Ptolemy's discontent, Caesar tactfully reinstated Cleopatra as co-regent, adhering to their father's will for joint rule. Ptolemy's displeasure led to a dramatic outburst as he threw down his crown. Understanding complexities, Caesar read their father's will but faced continued opposition. In a tragic turn of events, following the Battle of Alexandria against Caesar's forces, Ptolemy the Thee drowned in the Nile, intending to join Arsinoe in Sicily. This clarifies the fate of Ptolemy the Thee, highlighting the historical accuracy of his demise and its impact on the unfolding events in the Ptolemaic dynasty. Cleopatra's diplomatic finesse and strategic prowess continue to shape her reign amid these challenging circumstances. In the realm of shadows and whispers, a legacy of allure and power re-emerges. Spectres presents the Queen of Egypt, Cleopatra II Ounce's silver coin, a tribute to the last pharaoh of the Nile, whose very name evokes visions of golden splendor and timeless sagas. A monarch whose wisdom matched her beauty, whose ambitions transcended her era, the storied queen whose charm swayed the mightiest of Rome and whose reign captivated the world. Within this coin, her story unfolds, a tale of power, passion, and a destiny intertwined with the gods themselves. From her throne in Alexandria to the hallowed halls of Rome, she reshaped the ancient world. The sands of time may flow, but greatness remains eternal. Claim a piece of eternity. Pre-order now at www.spectres.io. Cleopatra's Rise and Complex Relationships After the conclusion of the Alexandrian War, the lifeless body of the abdicated king was discovered in the harbor. This marked a turning point for Cleopatra bringing her a newfound sense of security. With Caesar by her side, she sailed down the Nile, showcasing their joint power and dispelling any remnants of threat. Rumors swirled as Cleopatra embarked on this journey, hinting at her pregnancy with Caesar's child, later named Caesarion. The Roman leader, Caesar, left 15,000 soldiers to guard Cleopatra upon his return to Rome, where he was celebrated as a hero. As Cleopatra joined Caesar in Rome, tensions rose among the Romans. Concerns loomed about the potential influence of Cleopatra and her son, Caesarion, in Roman affairs. This unease was evident in the treatment of Cleopatra's sister, Arsinoe, who was paraded through the streets in chains. The relationship between Cleopatra and Caesar stirred controversy in Rome. Many feared that Caesarion might be named Caesar's heir, solidifying Cleopatra's influence through her son. 
Caesar's provocative acts, such as building the Temple of Venus Genetrix and placing a golden statue of Cleopatra in the Forum of Caesar, heightened unease. The statue linked Cleopatra to the goddess Venus and subtly associated the Egyptian goddess Isis with Roman religion, adding intrigue to their complex relationship. In response to his victories, the Senate made Caesar dictator for life, setting the stage for a crisis that would alter Cleopatra's destiny. Cleopatra's perilous return and relation with Mark Antony. Amidst the political turmoil following Caesar's assassination, Cleopatra faced a precarious situation in Rome. With Caesar gone, her kingdom was once again at risk, and she hurried back to Egypt to safeguard her rule. The vacuum of power in Rome resulted in a chaotic struggle for control among Octavian, Mark Antony, and Marcus Lepidus. Back in Egypt, Cleopatra encountered internal threats. Her sister Arsinoe, previously released from Roman captivity, conspired against her, finding support among the nobles and officials disgruntled by Cleopatra's response to a crisis caused by the failure of the Nile floods. Famine and disease plagued the nation, intensifying the discontent. In this challenging period, Cleopatra sought a powerful ally to secure her reign, turning to Mark Antony proved to be a strategic move for Cleopatra. In 42 BC, with Roman territories divided, Antony assumed control of the eastern Mediterranean, including Egypt. Cleopatra, recognizing the need for a strong alliance, forged a partnership with Antony to protect her kingdom and ensure the safety of her son, Caesarion. Amidst the complex political landscape, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's alliance wasn't just one of power, but also of family. The union between these two leaders bore witness to the birth of three children, Alexander Helios, Ptolemy Philadelphus, and Cleopatra Selene II. While Cleopatra's alliance with Mark Antony, it's crucial to emphasize that her actions were not solely for personal gain. Instead, they were a calculated move to maintain Egypt's independence amidst the complexities of Roman politics and power struggles. This alliance marked a significant chapter in Cleopatra's life as she navigated the intricate landscape of international affairs while safeguarding her reign in Egypt. Of Cleopatra's rule, Mark Antony, in control of Egypt, found himself reliant on Cleopatra's support. Summoning her to secure Egypt's wealth for his armies, Antony feared her potential betrayal. Cleopatra, perceptive and strategic, delayed her response, seeking to ensure Antony's protection and assistance. Her enchanting visit successfully seduced Antony, securing his support for her rule in Egypt. Antony abandoned military endeavors against the Parthians, rushing to Egypt. Winter of 41 BC saw them in Alexandria, where Cleopatra's siblings met unfortunate fates their relationship deepened, resulting in Cleopatra's pregnancy. Antony's return to Rome left Cleopatra to rule. Upon his return in 36 BC, Cleopatra welcomed him, recognizing the need for a powerful ally. In 35 BC, she bore their third child, Ptolemy Philadelphus. In 34 BC, Antony's triumphant return marked Cleopatra's coronation as Queen of the Kings, sealing their intertwined destinies. The death of Cleopatra. One theory proposes that rather than succumbing to the bite of an asp, Cleopatra might have used a different method to end her life. Some historians suggest the possibility of an ingestion of a poisonous concoction or the use of a sharp implement to introduce the toxin. This theory suggests that she might have used a needle or some form of ointment to administer the poison causing her demise. Another speculative account revolves around the idea that Cleopatra's death might not have been a deliberate suicide, but rather an unintentional result of her actions. There's a theory suggesting that she might have consumed a lethal substance in a misguided attempt to induce a temporary sleep or a coma, with intentions to wake up later and negotiate with Octavian. However, the substance might have been more potent than anticipated, leading to her demise. These alternative theories challenge the traditional narrative of Cleopatra's death by suggesting different means by which she might have met her end. 
while the snake poison account remains the most popular and widely acknowledged. These alternative theories continue to spark discussions and debates among historians and scholars, adding layers of mystery to Cleopatra's final moments. As we bid farewell to the captivating saga of Cleopatra, it's crucial to recognize not only her political prowess and tragic love story, but also her enduring impact on Egypt's culture and economy. Reflecting on Cleopatra's profound journey, has her enduring legacy and influence left you captivated? If her narrative has piqued your interest, consider joining us for more enthralling historical explorations. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.